I'm so excited. I know. What are you guys talking about? Didn't you hear? Zendaya is at the cafe. On Lydia Street in Greenfield. Meet us there. What? Wait, Lydia Street? I can't bike that hill. Can you make some space in your car? Hmm. Sorry. Uh, we're pretty jam-packed, but I'm sure you'll make it there in time. We'll stall it for you. Maybe try a different route, one with uh, less steep incline. We gotta go. See you there. Okay, Maps, don't fail me now. I need to get to that cafe as fast as possible. So, each of these routes has the same rise, since each route is starting at school and ending at the coffee shop. So all I need to figure out is which one is the steepest hill I can bike. The first route looks possible, but last week when we went to the library up on Troy Hill, I was barely able to make it. That hill had a rise of 100 feet over a run of 2,000 feet. The first route has double the rise and double the run, so the two hills are exactly as steep as each other. Now I get why Miss Mathis stressed that slope is the ratio of rise over run. The slope stays the same for hills of the same steepness no matter the distance. But since I'm in a rush, I wonder if either of the other routes would be better. Ooh, not a good option. If I can barely do the first hill, this one would be way too steep since it has the same rise, but a much shorter run. I'll end up walking my bike, and it'll take even longer. I can definitely do this one, because it has the same rise, but a much longer run. But even though the app says it's easier, that doesn't mean that I'll get there faster, since a longer run means it would take forever to get there. Okay, route one wins. Here goes nothing. Nice job with that hill. Uh, hey, thanks. Do you mind? Thank you so much. How did you beat us? We got stuck in traffic. <sighs> Looks like we missed her. Not all of us. What? No way! You have got to be kidding me. <sighs> Tag me. Of course. 